what is the cube root of w? So we're told the fifth root of w is 64. This is statement number one. And what that means, a direct consequence of that, is that w would equal 64 to the power of 5. Now, of course, because this is data sufficiency, we don't actually need to do the calculation. All we know is that we could, if we had the, enough time, we could multiply 64 up five times. We could find that product. And then once we have that product, it would be pretty easy to take a square root of that product, especially if you had a calculator. It'd be very easy to take a square root of that product. And that would lead to a definitive answer. So the point is this information alone is sufficient to lead to a definitive answer. We don't actually have to get the answer. So this statement is sufficient. Similarly, statement number two, the 15th root of w is 4. Well, that directly leads to the statement that w equals 4 to the 15th. Again, we could multiply 4 out 15 times if we had enough time. We could actually find that number. Once we had that number, we could take the cube root of that number, and that would answer the question. We don't actually have to do those steps on data sufficiency. It's enough to know that we could do those steps. We have enough information to calculate the answer. So the information we have is sufficient. The answer is, so that statement number two is sufficient. And since both statements separately are sufficient, the answer to the entire question is D. And incidentally, if you are curious, 4 to the 15th or 6, 64 to the 5th happens to equal 32,768, and the cube root of that is 32. But you do not need to do any of those calculations in order to answer the data sufficiency question.